And let me summarize this now. So we, are uh, we explained you how to collect. This is key thing. You must collect. Even if you don't use any of the things here we explained in the last 45 minutes. In order to be able to have the right information for Oracle support, it's key that you collect your information from beforehand. The worst service requests, I spent six years in mission critical support in Oracle when I started a long while ago. And the worst service requests you can open is not a crash or a corruption or an Aura 600. It's these calls where you say, oh, Oracle, please help me. I have done an upgrade and now the performance is bad. And I would ask you, okay, do we have any information from beforehand? And you say, no, it was fast, bad. Don't do that. So first step is a must. Then AWR diffs, you compare before or after. Analyze, SQL performance analyze. If you don't have a real application testing license, use the cloud. It's really easy and straightforward. We have a seminar coming up about how to do and leverage this in May. Tune, SQL Tuning Advisor, Profiles, SQL Plan Management, and last resort, SQL Patch. Manage SQL Plan Management, nail it down, test it, real application testing. So this is our performance stability prescription. We don't say it's the best thing in the world or it's the only way to treat and deal with this. But in our experience, this is what we try to bring in when you involve us into upgrade projects to ensure stability, to avoid unexpected surprises. Nobody should, nobody should sit here on the weekend doing an upgrade and biting your fingernails. You should be relaxed. You should know you did everything right and you're prepared because there's still a possibility that something goes wrong, but we are prepared. We have our plans. We know how to nail them down if necessary or how to tweak or tune or whatever. And this is the way to deal and ensure performance stability.